Let's take a look at how to create sci-fi structures by scattering assets. I'm going to start with a cube. I need more geometry, so in edit mode, right click and subdivide. Now go back to object mode, shift A, mesh, and I'm going to use the discombobulator add-on. Click OK. If you don't have this add-on, open the preferences, get extensions, and search for this combobulator and install it. Okay, so again, and we can open the properties here and you can play around with the settings until you find something that you like. Now I can delete the cube, I don't need it. Next, I like to use the remesh modifier. I'm gonna change to blocks, then I can increase octree depending on what I need. Now let me open the asset browser. These are the panels that I'm gonna use. I need to change the import settings to append. The link to download will be in video description. It's free, includes the panels, materials and some props. But if you want to know how I made these panels, I have a separate video where I explain how to make sci-fi assets. Basically, it's the same process. I'm gonna select all the assets, press M, and send them to a new collection. I need to scale down, then Control A, apply the scale. Next, I'm gonna add the scatter on surface modifier. Click on collection, and now I can select the collection I just created. Make sure to enable peak instance. In transform, we can change the scale on any axis. Now I can increase the density. Now let's see how to make the asteroids. So let's go to preferences, get extensions and search for extra mesh objects and install it. Then shift A, mesh, extras, rock generator and I can use the preset asteroid. Again, you can play around with the settings Now we can apply the modifiers, right click, convert to mesh, to, to collapse all the modifiers. Now let's see the material. First of all, pick any color. Increase metallic. Also roughness, just a little bit. Now Shift A, another Boronoi texture, then a bump map. I'm gonna connect distance to height, normal to normal, increase distance to 0 0.05 or so, otherwise it won't work. And now I'm gonna change to Chevy Shep in Boronoi texture. Scale to 20 and detail to 15. Then I duplicated the asteroid several times. Of course, randomize it in scale and rotation to create a bigger one. And now I can add the structures. Now let's see the background and lighting for the scene. Open the shader editor, switch to world. As you can see, I'm using two background nodes mixed with a mix shader. You can copy the nodes I'm using. For the stars, I'm using a bottom texture. 
connected to a color ramp to background. In the color ramp, move the colors. The black color should be on the right side and white on the left to create the stars. We can also change the scale. And now for the light, I like to use a sky texture. And finally, I'm using a light pad node connected into factor in mix shader. If we want, we can only use the Boronoi texture for the stars connected into output. Then we can add a sun lamp and just move the light. But I prefer to use the sky texture for an artistic look. Finally, I added a cube. Make sure to cover all the scene. In the material, I added a volume scatter node connected to volume. And also, I'm using drain. In density, we need a very low value. And isotropy, I'm using minus 0 0.08, but default is zero, I believe. And now we can go to the compositor. In viewport shading, make sure to click on always. Here we can add the glare node and drop it between the nodes. You can control the strength and the size here. And that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.